Hey guys, today I'm coming to you with one of my new favorite recipes, and that is my sour cream and butter cauliflower. The reason I love it is because it only has three ingredients, sour cream, butter, and cauliflower. <laughs> now you can also do some optional add-ins. Today I'm going with garlic and chives, but really all you need is those base three ingredients and some salt and pepper and you're good to go. Another reason it's one of my new favorites is because it uses like the least amount of dishes ever and like that's seriously one of my criteria for like whether or not a recipe is worth making is how many dishes it dirties up. This one, the dirty dish to finished dish ratio is totally worth it. So I'm so excited to get started. Um, really the only three things you will need are cauliflower, butter, and sour cream. Today I'm using nine cups of cauliflower and this is just frozen cauliflower. So it can be frozen, it can be fresh. You can start with cauliflower rice if you want. That's another good thing about this recipe is that it's so versatile. I'm just using frozen cauliflower florets, nine cups, and then we're just using six tablespoons of sour cream and six tablespoons of butter. So as you can see here, I have my frozen cauliflower in a pot and about a half a cup to a cup of water. So I'm just gonna put this on the stove to come up to boil. Uh, it'll be 10 minutes total and I'm gonna stir at the five minute mark. Also, don't forget, you wanna cover your cauliflower. All right, while the cauliflower is boiling, I'm just gonna go ahead and chop up these chives. Okay, everyone, since I clearly can't do anything in my own house without like my entire family showing up, this is my twin sister, Amber. Hey, Amber, how you doing? Like I need an introduction. Y'all know who I am. I mean, for the loyal rider dies, y'all should be familiar with this mug. But yeah, I just wanna come. I'm obviously just here unannounced, wanted, invited. Just to let all our faithfuls know that our Make This Keto series is coming back soon. We thank you so much for all the love and support and feedback that you guys shared with us on our trip to Smashburger. I was going to say Five Guys. Oh my God. Smashburger. But we do have a new place that we're going to pick um, here soon. So I just wanted to say get used to seeing this more regularly on this channel. Yay, yay. Hey. no, yay. So I'm super excited to share another uh, outing with you guys. I just wanna touch base and say hi to Watch Autumn Keto's The Loyal Rider Dies. You guys give me long. Oh my God, leave, leave, bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, it's been 10 minutes and I have drained my cauliflower. At the 10 minute mark, it is quite mushy. You actually want your cauliflower to be mushy enough for you to like be able to break it up with a spoon and just go ahead and start to mash it up into irregular chunks um or you could keep them large or if you're starting out with riced cauliflower this is all done for you already so congratulations okay now all that's left to do is just to add the mix-ins so i'm going to start with some salt i mean you want to heavily salt this just because cauliflower could always use some salt i'm going to go with some black pepper as I mentioned previously, I'm just gonna go with about a teaspoon of chopped garlic. This is completely optional. Next, I'm just gonna add six tablespoons of butter. Okay, finally, I'm just gonna add six tablespoons of sour cream. Oh yeah, I'm also gonna sprinkle in some of these chives. Oh, they smell so good. They're just like oniony and delicious. All right, now all you have to do is let steam and heat do all the work for you. You just keep stirring it up until everything is melted and incorporated. Feel free to keep chopping up the cauliflower, give it a good mix, taste as you go, add more salt, add more pepper. Now that I think about it, I might add some red pepper flakes in this. That would probably just set this whole thing off. I like my cauliflower to be in small chunks, so... I keep chopping as I'm stirring. Oh, you can't tell me this don't look good, and boy does it smell delicious. 2,000 years later. All right guys, and that is literally it. I've just stirred it until everything is melted and incorporated. I'm gonna give it a taste right out of the pot. Oh my God, it's so good. Oh my God. And if this was for me, I would definitely put red pepper flakes in it. But alas, this is actually for my mom. So I'm just gonna dump this in my 
aluminum pan. You guys, like, if you're making this to eat all in one night, like, serve it right out of the pot. I don't, I mean, the fewer dishes, the better. I put this in my aluminum pan. At this point, I mean, you could cover this with some cheese and put it in the oven. What? What did I just do? You could cover this in some bacon. What? Where? What is happening right now? Like, oh, this is amazing. It just spreads so nice and evenly. Oh my gosh. Oh, my mom is very lucky. <laughs> So generally, this makes about six servings, uh, but you could probably split it up between four and eight, depending on like what your macros are looking like or how many carbs you have left in a day. But the macros that I include in this recipe are gonna be for six servings. BRB licking the spoon. Mm. Oh my God. There is no shame in my spoon licking game. Oh, what is that good? Mm. Okay, I'm done. I'm literally about to take my finger, you know, around the pot after I turn this off, you guys. So, with that being said, make this recipe. It is so good. It is so easy. It literally took less than 15 minutes. And most of that was just letting the cauliflower boil. I mean, you could be fixing other stuff. You could be cleaning up. You could be catching up on your favorite television show. Like, there's only a good five minutes of active cooking time here. Once again, and how many dishes did I use? One, two, come on now. The dish to dish ratio is, I mean, just completely worth it. Comment down below what your favorite mix in would be. Okay guys, well that's it for today. Like I have really come to love this recipe over the past month and I hope you try it and love it too. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. Y'all thought I was joking. Ah!